hello and welcome to my channel where we make structural engineering design simple and easy my name is Olodu Konyedi and I'm your host I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel and those who are here to subscribe please hit that subscribe button and all those who have been sending us encouraging words we say we appreciate you dearly i want to say a big thank you to everyone who has made last year a success for us and those starting this year with us making it a success we appreciate you all we got a lot of questions from our subscribers we want to say we appreciate you and also please if you are commenting please tell us where you are commenting from it will help us to know how far our our videos and our trainings are getting to so we have Makandi Azaya Makinde Makinde Azaya you said my name is Azaya Makinde so please which code template did you use for your slab detail I please I would like you to I really don't get what you are asking but if if is the Excel Excel um, file that I use in um, my slab I think is an Excel file but if that's not it please comment let's know you can rephrase your question let me let me understand what you are saying the code template did you use for this your slab design or slab detail ah, please you can comment on that so that I know what exactly you are asking for so that we can answer you properly and Mark in there you didn't tell us where you are commenting for please when you are you are you are um, explaining what you mean please tell us where you are commenting from we have Ogun Naya Charles Nandi Ogun Naya Charles Nandi Charles you didn't tell us where you are commenting from please let us know where you are commenting from you said please how can I add the property of a column to other columns in a particular project uh, if I understand your question you you have the property of a column in one project and now you want to use that same property in another project if I'm right please comment on that tell us where you're commenting from that yes this is what you mean but if not let me try and explain how um, what I understand from your question but if not please um, just comment on that and let us know what exactly you are asking for or you've, you've, you've determined a column size and property and you want to use it on, on other columns please let me know so but if you if you've done it let's assume you've done it in project a you've done in project a and you want that same property from project a to be used in project b please let me know if that is what you are asking let me show you how to do that but if not please comment on that let's know what you truly uh, mean or what you are truly asking so let's assume we've done project a and we like the settings the, the, the settings we use for project a we want to repeat that in project b what you do at this part where you you are starting the new the new um project where you click before you click um, um uk bs uh, bs 8110 please go back to our previous videos and um and 
study it from beginning listening to it from beginning we explained everything we will not be explaining everything over or you can simply request for our online course training the course is just five thousand naira. send an email to us to us that you need that course and the, the best part of um buying that course is you have a one-on-one -on -one, um discussion time with myself in clearing any um confusion that you may have so i think that is a big privilege for my time so please do that but if not let us know go back to our previous videos and search for them we've explained everything so if you want to do that instead of using template the default is template so click on project once you click on project all these are the various projects that we we have done so if you like this um let's assume five bedroom i e i k e the 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 settings you click on it any of the project let's assume this is our project a and we are creating project b so you say import so immediately you import every detail that you have on that previous um, on that previous okay now if you say this when you click on this let's assume you say okay you said okay and now you click on column on column the the settings that you've used on on um, on the previous one all the settings that you've used would be copied into into this into this so this is what it we use so all the settings that you've you've done on the previous um, on the previous um, one that is what it we we be all your settings that you've done all the settings that you've picked all what you've picked that is what it will bring out all what you've picked before all what you've picked before that is what it will bring so you 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 wouldn't need to to do the settings again you wouldn't need to do the settings again but the the only thing you need to change is the the sizes of your elements you still have to de determine that like this column the default in in um, prota is 500 by 250 so if your column is 230 by 230 you still need to change it here but the settings all the settings that you've you've done let's assume here you are trying to edit column this is the column these are the the, the column um, properties that we've, that we've determined before now we the previous one we we picked 16 we picked 20 so automatically that is what it we it we do for you it will automatically pick that so that is how you can take the property of one one uh, one project and you copy it into the other so let me show you something please pay attention to this if you see this beam this you just pick only two okay so it has picked the previous um properties but now let's assume we are starting afresh let's assume we are starting afresh let's assume we are starting afresh let's say we say um we are starting afresh instead of we picking project let's say we pick this and we say import we say import uh, 
we go to this okay 